a blood test that could find cancer years before symptoms appear. That's the potential of research conducted at this American laboratory. In a small trial, patients already known to have eight common forms of the disease were screened, and the test developed here correctly detected cancer in 70% of them. It uses the fact that cancer tumours release minute amounts of proteins and bits of mutated DNA, which mix into the person's bloodstream. By removing a sample of blood and analysing it, the test detects those tiny traces of disease. The amount of this DNA or protein that comes from the cancer cells is very, very small compared to all the other DNA and proteins that are present in our bloodstream. And it took really years, decades, 20 to 30 years of work from our group and from other groups to develop technologies to actually be able to detect those traces. For cancer campaigner Debbie Wells, it's welcome news. At the age of 27, her daughter Gemma died of pancreatic cancer, a form that's particularly difficult to detect in its early stages. I mean, if Gemma had been offered a blood test that could have detected this cancer six months before she really had her diagnostic procedure, then we might have even still had her here today. But experts here caution these results will need to be repeated in much bigger trials. This is a very early stage of the development of the blood test and there's a lot of work still to be done to really work out whether it can improve the cure rates of cancer, but it's a really promising first step. Realistically, it could be another eight years before this test is ready to use, but these early results do raise the hope that in the future, screening for cancer could simply be a matter of giving a blood sample. Catherine Jones, Five News.